Good morning. Um, today is Friday the 6th of December, and I'm currently editing today's vlog. Um, we've had a change in plans. Um, yesterday's chip, chip, yesterday, I haven't had any coffee yet. Yesterday's trip to Acorns and Threads was amazing, but it was exhausting. And since I have something mandatory that I have to do Saturday and Sunday, we decided that I wouldn't go into Seattle today to record the podcast. Um, I'll be recording a short video to tell you about the winners for the Artistic Autumnal Owl and the prizes for the Winter Wonderland Owl that has started and a couple other things. Um, and then we'll be back to recording as normal next week. In the meantime, I hope you enjoy the vlog, miss videos, and I will get this one posted as soon as possible. Uh, have a great rest of your day. I wanted to show you this order that came in for me yesterday while I was gone to Acorns and Threads. Um, it's from a shop on Etsy called Pearl Girl Buttons, P-U-R-L, like knitting pearl. Um, and I ordered some Notions pouches from her. I haven't taken them out of the bag yet, but I wanted some Notions pouches to put in all of my cross stitch projects so that I could stop moving things back and forth through the projects. So I ordered three of them. I got this cute mini mouse one and these buttons like, let me show you, see if I can show you the back of one of these. They attach like a kind of a snap onto the bags. So she sent me a couple of these extra ones. Um, there's always something to be thankful for and pumpkin spice makes everything nice, which hello, that is CC totally. Love that. So there's the mini mouse one. And then I've got this cute Calico Kitties one. And then I got Candy Corn with a witchy kitten. Aren't they cute? So I'm super excited about those. And I will put a link to her shop in the, um, down below, whatever it's called. I'm still drinking coffee. I'm still trying to wake up. And then I realized that I didn't show you the rest of the things that I got at Acorns and Threads yesterday. <laughs> so um, I bought this um, Kesslin, is that how you say it? Kesslin's Pumpkin Candy. I probably will not do it on a jar, but just how adorable is that little pumpkin? And then it came with a cute little pumpkin charm. So cute. And then this one. My very first bendy stitchy pattern. I am so excited. It's called a very Hilde Yule. And honestly, I probably would not have given this pattern a second look. Except I listened to, I've been watching Michelle Bendy Stitchy's um, vlogmases, although I think she calls them Flossmas. Anyway, um, and she like, in one of the recent ones, she told the whole story of this pattern um, and about, you know, like the bat's names and the vampire's names. And there's that cute little kitty right there and just so much. And I just fell in love with her story. Look at this variegated all around. I just thought, I just fell in love as I listened to her talk about it. And I was like, I desperately need to get this pattern. And then... Lo and behold, it was available at Acorns and Threads yesterday, and it was sitting on the table on an easel in front of where I was sitting, and I was like, oh my gosh, I have to have it. So, I know it's not your traditional Christmas um, cross-stitch, but I just fell in love, and I'm so excited to stitch my very first Bindi Stitches pattern. Love to you, Michelle. I know yesterday was rough, so... I'm glad that my vlogmases were able to provide you a little bit of comfort and just sending love. And um, I hope that today is going better for you. Okay, so those were the other two things that I bought. And then I got a couple more gifts. Oh, well, a few more gifts. How cute is this postcard of floss? And then this one is a sampler and I had to get it because of the kitty. And these were both gifts from uh, Heartstring Sample Samplery, um, who is Beth Twist. 
and I had never met her and it was so exciting and I was like I don't know if I own any of her patterns but then I started looking through my app um I can't think of what the app is called if you want to know let me know and I'll, I'll look it up for you but it's like where I can keep track of my flosses and my patterns and such and lo and behold I do own one of her patterns there's a pumpkin spice pattern that I bought that's hers so I'm excited to stitch that maybe um sometime next year and then Sorry for my hand in the way. I got a couple of really cute needle minders. How cute is that? That's adorable. And so they're the magnetic thing that you can put on your uh, project to put your needle on. And y'all are gonna have to forgive me because I didn't, I can't remember names on lots of things. I know that this was from Stephanie from, why am I totally blanking on her floss tube name? Apologies. Thank you, Stephanie. This is this is beautiful. I love it. And then the other one I got was this adorable little kitty cat. And look, it has a pink circle around the eye. So I had to get that since pink pearl is our kitty. And um, it's actually a button, but it's been turned into a um, needle minder. And then I know who this is from because um, she's in my Monday Night Stitching Group. This is from Melissa. And um, it's a pair of these scissors that I love so, so much. And a skein of Etoile DMC, which I've never used before. So I'm excited to try that. And then this. This is from Mary and the Librarian from Caddy Cross Stitches. And it's this beautiful, like, camper um truck fabric with the um buffalo check and um <clears throat> so the really cool thing about this is there's a magnet under here so when you're stitching you can either you know like put a needle there or put your scissor scissors there and it's going to stay uh attached and not fall off and then this space here you can lay your flosses on and they're not going to go sliding everywhere um, or I know some people, I think, put like their, um, when they finish a piece of thread and there's that little bit left over, some people like put it on here until um, they're done stitching for the day and then they can pick up all the ends and throw them away. Um, so it's just a really cute thing and I was so, I was not expecting it at all. Thank you so, so much, Marion. Caddy Cross Stitches. Um, notice that there's not three S's there. It's only two. So Caddy Cross stitches on Etsy and I may have already messaged her to see if I could order some more so that I could have one in all of my projects. So thank you so much to everyone at Acorns and Threads. I had an amazing, amazing, amazing time yesterday and I'm so grateful that I got to spend time with y'all and thank you so much Becca. Oh and I got this type 2019 charm. Sorry I totally forgot. Um and actually I'm gonna use this on um Okay, remember earlier in the week, I showed y'all that cross-stitch pattern that was a Joyous Noel um, that was um, a Canadian pattern, and I bought it, and um, it, part of the proceeds went to charity. Um, so I'm going to stitch that, actually, if you're in my stitching group, don't listen, uh, for our ornament exchange at our Christmas party, and I'm going to use the 2019 charm in place of... Uh, the buttons on the pattern, and I totally stole that idea from Erin of Two Martini Stitcher, uh, who was also at A Concert Th Threads first Thursday yesterday, so I told her I was stealing her idea, and she was fine with it, so um, that was also a gift, so, all right, well, I better get some more things done, drink some more coffee, and I'll be back later to chat with y'all. So, unfortunately, I didn't get a whole lot of crafting time today, but was sleeping late, and I had to go run some errands and such like that. So, but I did manage to finish um, square number six for my countdown to Christmas cross stitch, and it is snowflakes. So, um, yeah, with that, I will tell you good night, happy crafting, and I'll talk to you again tomorrow. We're super excited to be doing 31 days of Christmas again this year. Every week this month, we'll have a different theme where you can save 25% off each pattern with the coupon code 31 days. Coupon code is the same every week. The patterns are different though every week. So for this first week of December, the first through the seventh, you can get 25% off all of our shawls, wraps, cowls, hats, and mitts. We have created a bundle where you can find all of these patterns. We, I will put a link 
in the drop down box below to get straight to that bundle. The final three days of December, we'll be doing a special sale on all of our ebooks. In addition, this year, we decided we would like to do random acts of kindness. So every day this month, from the 1st to the 28th, you'll be able to enter to win any one of our patterns. Each day, you will choose a pattern from the sale bundle for that week. You will respond on the post in my Instagram account, cc underscore almond. I'll put a link in the drop down box. You'll post on that post with your Ravelry username and which pattern from the sale bundle for that week you would like to win. You will also need to make sure that you follow me on Instagram and like the post. I will close the thread the following morning and do a random uh, generator to choose the winner. The last three days of the month, we will be doing a very, very special ebook giveaway. Just a reminder that if you do not follow the directions completely when you enter, your and you and if you're drawn chosen the winner, your entry will be invalid, and I will have to choose another winner. And a disclosure disclaimer that Instagram is not uh, a sponsor of this at all. Uh, this is something simply coming from Danny and I. I'm editing this video on the evening of the 6th, so I don't yet know the winner for today's Random Act of Kindness. Stay tuned for tomorrow's video where I will announce the winner. Have a great weekend, y'all.